All right, fellas, what's going on? Dananu here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And in this video here, we're going to be talking about the Destiny 2 beta, and I'm just going to give my thoughts on it and uh, what I think about it. Um, I apologize for not having no Destiny 2 gameplay, <laughs> uh, but I know when the beta came out, uh, I didn't get a chance to play the multiplayer, so otherwise if I did, I'd be putting that up right now. So, we're, we're going to be playing something else that's, uh, you know, sci-fi, action, and all that stuff. This is super R-type for the um, SNES game I used to play when I was a kid, but... So we're just going to play it live and talk about Destiny 2 here. I played Destiny 2. Um, I didn't play it with all three characters or nothing like that, so I can't really speak to, to the other characters. But I played, uh, I played the strike. I played the uh, the story mission that they had, and uh, multiplayer. I, I, I've seen tons of gameplay videos on, so it's not that big a deal. I mean, you know, Grant, I didn't, I, I don't experience it firsthand, but um, I kind of sort of know what it's about, so to speak. You know, I know that they dumbed down the uh, the characters for the multiplayer. It's, it, I think it's uh, what three v three or four v four, not six v six like it was before. Um, multiplayer was. I think the game could be a little bit better balanced, but at the same time, I think it's going to slow down the game. Normally with first person shooters, when they have, um, oh, he got me. Normally when shooters, uh, uh, remove, um, you know, how many characters are on the map at the same time, normally that slows the game down. So if they keep the map size the same as, or roughly around the same as, you know, Destiny 1, that's going to be a huge problem, YouTube, because Destiny had some really big maps on some of them, like for those really big team games. Uh, so I don't know if they're cutting all that out together. I don't see why they should, but I would hope it's like another playlist or something. But Bungie does playlist fuckery with all of their games. So, you know, I mean, I wish they would just take it back like Halo 3 and just kind of just split up the playlists for ranked and then have everything and everybody else being like social or whatever. And then you have playlists for every different game type that you offer, you know, why not have it like that? But they like to switch and mix and match the playlist just like the same way they did with Halo back in the day. Where, you know, where it's like, oh yeah, you'll have like control and something else, but, you know, then you'll have like a, a rotating playlist like every week. And I was like, I hate that shit. But anyways, let me get back on topic. This is, this is not a rant video. But um, the story mission was a whole lot better than uh, what you would get from Destiny 1. Uh, I, I will say that. It's... It's not the greatest thing I've experienced. Um, it's not going to change the world by any means. Uh, it's just a competent story, a, com a competent linear story. And Destiny 1 just didn't have that at all. I mean, that's just, you know, it, it was shit. You know, didn't have shit. Uh, let me get my charge beam off him. Hold on a sec. Oh, almost fell for the same trick. There we go. You know, R Type was a game, just to say, is like, I, I loved R Type for what it was. Uh, of course, it was like a Gradius clone, I guess you could say that, but, you know, the game was unique in its own way. Like, you had a bunch of different, like, things that you could do in this game that you couldn't do in Gradius. Plus, as you guys can see, the music was hot, so. Yeah, might as well charge up the big one for him. Because he's going to put these things here, and it's going to make it so I can't dodge. Give me one sec, you two. Come on. I got him that time. So you used to be able to get in like in the um in the other R type games. I think you get in this too. But you get like this little option thing that you could put behind you to shoot behind you at the same time. But anyway, back with Destiny. Uh the story had tons of cutscenes. Was really appreciating that. Uh it actually told you, you know, what was going on from moment to moment, unlike Destiny 2. I mean Destiny 1. Um huge benefit because of that. Um, I feel that the game was kind of, it's still way too easy. Felt the way about Destiny 1 as well. There we go, that's the little option thing I was, tell um, I was telling you guys about. And plus I could like, if I remember it, I could shoot it to throw it out at people and anybody it hits it hurts them, so. Yeah. Oh no, slow down. Let me do this. There we go. But um. <laughs> That's right, run into it. Uh-oh. If I remember right, these guys are gonna fall in front of my face and try to shoot me. Yep. There we go. Ah! 
Damn it. <laughs> All right. But yeah, Destiny, uh, Destiny 2, you know, it, it still feels easy. Um, I don't know if that's because, you know, you were like max rank in this one. I wish they did it like the last uh, beta from Destiny 1 where it's you started out as like level zero and you ranked up as you played it, you know. This one, they kind of started you off at like max rank in the beta. And so there wasn't really a whole lot you could really do um, besides just play the content. Like, like once you played it, like that was it, you know, it wasn't like in the first one um where you had the beta where you could rank up you can um you know play you know you had a progressive type thing where you could rank up and play it and that's what kept you playing it for like the week that it was out but this one was more just like once you played it that was it i mean it's you know since you were max rank you know and, and and that's what i heard from a lot of youtubers who played it um they pretty much said that um nothing's really keeping them on the game they play they play it for a day maybe two and then they get off because you know because they're done you, you you already experienced everything the game has to offer um i'm hoping the story is going to be long um destiny you know destiny one wasn't long by any means uh i'm not expecting it to change the world i mean you know, just me personally i would want uh just a a, a typical first person shooter like you know something that's six to eight hours you know Destiny 1 was kind of like, oh, I can knock it out in like four hours if I had somebody rolling with me, you know? And even then, it, it's, it was just, you know, really, really simple. Um, I'm hoping Destiny 2, that they change that and actually make it a, a more competent story. <laughs> but I guess we won't know until it comes out because I'm not trusting anything they say in any of their articles and videos that they release. I'm not trusting a the word they're saying. But, but that's just me. I'm pretty sure there's going to be tons of people out there who... Uh, who are gonna know life the game regardless but i'm just not one of those people i love the first game don't get me wrong i played it like i said in my last uh you know a video when i was playing the game uh i played destiny up until about i think a uh, half a month before house of wolves came out so i played the taken king i played the game i'm not just one of those people who just get on here and just talk about a game they haven't played no i played the game i know how shit it was so i don't trust you know bungie at all <laughs> Not after those lies they got caught with with uh with Destiny One, so Ooh. touching the floor on that one. Ah, uh, I probably should have kept the other one, but this one bounces all around, so. Long as I got a laser that goes straight, so. You still have to hit multiple people at the same time. But um story-wise, like I said, I hope it's good. Uh the strikes gotta come a little bit better than what they had. Uh the strike in the in, in the beta wasn't really all that good. The boss fight was pretty decent, but it wasn't nothing groundbreaking, you know? Alright, let me see if I remember how to fight this guy. If I remember right, this part opens up into like a big eyeball at the end I gotta shoot. And I think that little bounty thing is gonna always come back. <laughs> Give me a sec, YouTube. I gotta figure out how to fight this guy. Alright, I probably gotta shoot him in the eye down here. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright, let me do this. Can I... I know when he opens it up, I'm going to shoot my little uh, option thing in his face. Because that'll just cause tons of damage on him. And I can always call it back. That's one thing I love about R-Type was this little option thing. It made uh, fighting so uh, so easy sometimes. See, because it's like I can hit him and... and oh, 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 okay. I forgot about this. I don't like this. I got to beat him because I think that thing uh, closes in on me. So I think that's like part of the... Okay, that's what it is. Okay, there we go. All right, but yeah, strikes got to come correct, YouTube. The strikes that they had, you know, that they had in the beta was kind of weak. You know, it, it had a lot of platforming. It had a lot of, like, raid type stuff. That's cool. But I want the strikes to be on the equivalent as the raids from Destiny 1. Oh, I remember this song from back in the day. This was, like, one of my favorite songs in the game. But, uh, you know, they got to step their game up. I don't know if they just gave us the easy strike this time because they don't want us to play the good stuff just yet until the game comes out. But uh, who knows? But it's it just... Uh, damn. They got to step their game up, YouTube. Um, weapon balancing? I, I don't know how that's going to... Oh, this is going to be difficult without all my stuff. That's the one thing I hate about playing shooter games. is like when you die, they just take away all your shit. <laughs> um, definitely need to get that speed upgrade, though. At least now I can dodge them a little bit quicker. Uh, what was I talking about? Raids. Oh yeah, raids. Um, I, I want the um, the strikes to be just as good. They gotta be a little bit better than what they had. Uh, come on, come, come on, option thing. Ah, uh, okay, okay, he's still coming. Woof. 
All right, here we go. Now I can shoot in front of me and behind me. Oh, oh I got to get the next next upgrade right there. No. Ah! I had nowhere to go, YouTube. I had nowhere to go. It is what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah, they need to step. Uh, a wow. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, YouTube. Let me pick another game here. I'll be right back. All right, YouTube. We're back and we're going to cheat our butts off. Let's see. Up, up, down, down. There we go. It still works, YouTube. Still remember the codes. All right. But, uh, yeah, they need to step their raid game up. You know, um, or not the raid game. I'm sorry. The strike game up. It was, um, incredibly simple. Uh, the boss fight was pretty cool. Uh, the boss kept dropping the floor and you, you know, kept having to fall and things like that. But, but any, everything outside of the boss was kind of weak. Um, you, you just had a lot of jumping and, oh, kill these bad guys and that's it. Um, wasn't really, nothing really super important. I'm hoping but uh, when the main game comes out, uh, that that's going to be better. Don't know if it is or not, but I, that's that's my hope anyways. Um, I know I'm going to give the game the wait and see approach. I'm not going to buy it right out the gate. Um, I'm going to give it like two weeks. <laughs> and if I don't hear, you know, I'm going to watch Let's Plays of it, see reviews, make up my own opinions before I figure out, you know, if I'm going to buy the game or not. Because... I really didn't like how I got, you know, ripped off from Destiny 1. So I'm going to definitely take my time with this one and, you know, see if it's worth my money this time. Otherwise, I'm not going to get it. Uh, but I'm trying to think other things that they could possibly change. I heard that they changed up weapons and how they do it and things like that. I know in the story mode, you had like other, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, other weapon slots. They changed the way like fusion rifles and power weapons work. Not sure if I, not, not sure if I'm feeling that, YouTube, because... I think from what I'm hearing from other YouTubers, they changed how, um, oh no, my shield. shield. Yep, that's why I waited on that one. Alright. Uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, power weapons. Oh yeah. Power weapons. I think they changed how they work. So they made like, uh, snipers and rocket launchers and things like that all power weapons. So you got to pick up the heavy ammo in that, like in a multiplayer match or while you're, you know, running around a PVE. Not sure, not sure if I like that change because that kind of sort of limits the, uh, your functionality, you know, like I can't just pick up a sniper and snipe somebody now. I gotta, you know, either, you know, whip out the Gallahorn or pull out a sniper. I can't do both in PVE. I can understand in multiplayer why they would make that change, but for PVE, I don't see why they didn't just have it the same way. You know, it's not like you're overpowered in PVE because the game based everything off of your, uh, your light level anyway. So, um, but maybe that's one of those things that you just get, that we all just got to wait and see if it's, you know, the right choice or not. Um, I doubt that's something they're going to go back on though. If it's the wrong choice, they're probably just going to, you know, leave it the way it is, you know, cause that's, you know, how they're making the game. But, um, if I remember right, this crab guy's going to come out, we just got to shoot him in the eye. And luckily with my favorite laser in the game, cause this game, you can pick like 10 different lasers. Um, I like the sea laser here, so. I can just keep the options on him and do like tons of damage on his eye and all that stuff, so should be good. Cause he can't really come all the way over here, so there you go, problem solved. Um, trying to think, trying to see if any there's anything else I can talk about. Um, the music is still average, from what I've heard in the beta. Nothing's really changed with it. Um, it's still the same Destiny fare that you know you, that you heard in Part One. Um. I don't know if certain story elements are going to take, uh, you know, we're going to come back. Because I know in Taken King, the Awoken got wiped out by uh, by the Taken King. So I'm hoping that they, that, you know, they come back. Because when I first played Destiny 1, that was like the first race I chose, you know. So I'm hoping that, you know, they actually come back because I want to pick them again. But they may just throw them in the game just to have them and not explain it. Um, I'm hoping that they keep them in the game. You know, because I like the Rift. The Rift was a hell of a lot better than the uh, than the tower. So, oh, God, I remember this board. I hate this board. You got to, there's this one part on this stage where you got to fight all these stupid bubbles. And it's just so stupid. Because as you destroy the bubbles, as you can see, they break up into smaller bubbles. And there's this one part where they give you tons of, like, big bubbles like that. And you got to constantly shoot them. And they just break up over and over and over again. Um, but luckily, we got a thing on our shield. So as long as we don't pick up any one of these other ones... We can always pull the shield back out if we need to. Like now, let me grab some more. But, um, 
Yeah, I mean, just like this beta just didn't have a lot to it, YouTube. I don't know why they went with the decision to uh, not give you more content. <laughs> you know, that was like the one thing in Destiny One that everybody was pissed about was having more content. So you would think that at least they would give you, uh, you know, the e either the same amount of content that they had in Destiny, uh, the Destiny One beta, or at most just a little more, just to say like, you know, like, look, we're coming correct this time. You know, it ain't gonna be like last time. You know, we realize our mistakes and we're moving forward from there. You know. But they, they just didn't do that. I, I don't know why. It, it just seems like a shitty business decision. Uh, but but I don't know, YouTube. I mean, it's, I'm hoping that they also have, uh, that they change up customization a little bit. Because before, um, you know, the armor pieces that you got, they were okay. But I'm, I'm somebody who likes to mix and match my pieces. So, I mean, I'm hoping that they would let you equip, like, um, I know they probably won't based on what I've seen. Oh, he, he's going to take one of my options. No, no, no. Yeah, I gotta get over the side of the screen. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That thing is gonna go up and down, and when he opens up, he comes out and he takes one of your options. So, I was trying to get to the other side of the screen, because if, cause if uh, you can get to the other side of the screen... Ah, uh, I chose the wrong one. If you can get to the other side of the screen, you can, uh, you know, be over here and then have him come out, and, and, and you can dodge him, you know, all together. And if I remember right, you can only put the code in, is it once every life? Let me see. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's once every play session or, or, you know, once every continue, however you want to say it. But, um, this is going to suck without all my weapons. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. But, um, yeah, Destiny 2, I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it didn't have a lot there. So that's probably why people was getting bored with it or just, uh, you know, let me not shoot that one. Oh, son of a bitch. Ugh. But uh, that's probably why people, you know, once they play it, they stop. I mean, you got to give people, you got to make people hungry for your product. And maybe that's what, uh, that's what the problem is. Uh, with Destiny 1, there was like an unknown property. They didn't know how people were going to take it. So maybe with this one, they, they, you know, they already knew that they had their fan base. So maybe they just said, you know, it is what it is. People are going to buy our game no matter what we do. Maybe they were thinking like that. So, but get my dodge on. There we go. Away from me, little guys! Damn, like ticks. All right, that's that's all we rolling with is one laser. Okay. Yeah, if I remember, we just had to shoot a shoot a path through his bubble here, and uh, there we go. Then we can shoot him in the eye. Luckily, I got the best weapon for the job here, so because he can't shoot me <laughs> with, the, with the stuff in the middle, and I can just keep shooting him. There we go. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I can talk about, but the, but like I said, the beta didn't really have anything. Um, if I had to talk about how they could improve things or where I think they should, you know, take things, it's the same thing I said with the Destiny One beta. They gotta come with the content. I mean, you can't just come out with bullshit nowadays. I mean, you're they're a triple A developer, you know, working for like you know Activision, you know, bottomless pockets when it comes to money, you know, because of Call of Duty and all that stuff. So it's like, come on, like, why not put in the, you know, put in the time like, you know, like you're supposed to. It's like, it can only make your game better. So yeah, they gotta come correct with the content. It has to be a full length experience. You can't just come out with that bullshit that they had. And I think that they learned that. One little pebble. One little pebble, YouTube. Ruin the dream. But they gotta come correct with it. Um, like I was saying, I mean, it's, they can't just do the same things that they did last time. And, uh, I think that they learned that, uh, cause the beta does feel a whole lot different, um, you know, than how Destiny 1 was. Let me get up here for a quick second. There we go. Take out these guys. So, I mean, I think it, it I mean, it's some, uh, see, see my problem there was I had too much speed. That's what that was. But, um, I think it's something that they, you know, that they learned. Uh, how much of it they're you know they're gonna learn that's something I'm gonna wait and see like I was saying before because I just don't feel that that they're kind of you know I I don't think they're not gonna you know they're not gonna do what I want that's what I'm trying to say um, good or bad I know I mean I'm not saying they should make the game to my standards but I just don't think they're gonna give the community what we want and what we need out of their game um, I think that Bungie's just gonna kind of I think they're gonna just, you know, do what they always do ever since Halo 3, 
which is just oh we're making the game like we want to make it and fuck our community <laughs> you know um yeah they might change some things here and there but i just think that they're gonna just you know st stick with what they want to do and they already know how they're making a game that's evident because of them changing multiplayer nobody was asking them to drop you know drop the multiplayer uh down to like 4v4 or 3v3 um because everybody knows that slows the game down so um, I think they're doing that to appease to the whole esports crowd, and I don't know why they're doing that because esports is like, I'm not saying it's like a shitty community, but it's a small community. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, why would you? Ah, I was paying attention to the rocks, not to the <laughs> the ammo in front of my face. But like I was saying, why would you cater your game to that when it's a small niche group of your larger millions and millions of people who buy your game, you know, of your bigger audience? I just don't know why that is, but. Um, I hope Destiny 2 is good at the end of the day. Um, I hope that it's an actual game this time. How about that one? But I just don't have any faith in Bungie no more. To me, they kind of dropped out after Halo 3. And so far, it's just one of those things where it's like after Destiny 1. Like I put faith in Destiny 1. Like, OK, I'm expecting at least a game. And then I didn't get that. So now what little faith I had in them is just completely gone at this point. So, um, I'm hope it's good, but I, I don't have no hype for it. I'm not waiting for the game to drop. I'm not, you know, I'm not pre-ordering the game like some people do. Nah, that ain't me. I didn't even pre-order it to play the beta because I knew they was going to make it free like they always do. So it's like, why would I pay, why would I waste five bucks in order, you know, to play something that, you know, that I'm going to play anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it is what it is. Anyways, guys, my name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.